What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another Out of Sight In Mind. With me, I got some very special guests making a return to the pod. I got my boy Casey Kappa. It is Casey Kappa, Casey Flash, Casey in 4K, Casey. I got so many names for y'all, it's insane, but I'm back. Man. Also, I got another special guest, y'all, Big Mouth Bo. What's going on, y'all? It's Big Mouth Bo, the gifted idiot. You know how we get out. No, nah, for sure. So I uh, actually just want to start off like with Bo. I don't know if you actually remember this personally, but this was a show at the Promontory like earlier this year, maybe even last year. Like, uh, like we were just like in the crowd type shit. My cousin and me, like we met you type shit, and like just talk about networking and stuff like that. Personally, I throw it on me just not actually just taking that step to reach out. But then again, me and Casey, we've been talking about this for a while and stuff like that and then he even just dropped it today like who's actually sliding and stuff like that so i'm actually glad like how the universe just work itself out you know oh that's lit yeah, yeah for no, sure i'm gonna say when i and i just seen the name of the pop I'm okay it sounds familiar nah. i came across this some way but that's how yeah nah, nah. that's lit bro that's what's nah, up for sure so uh i don't know let's just start off like how y'all both feeling or whatever today uh i'm feeling good uh what they be saying, blessed and highly favored. That part. Yeah, I'm blessed, bro. I'm good. I've been doing a lot of ripping and running, but I'm good, man. I'm excited to be here, for real. No, for sure. Definitely glad that y'all both are able to be here. So, I mean, let's just start off with, you know, Casey, me and you, we've been talking about this for, like, what, a month type shit? About a month. Yeah. So, I mean, you definitely been doing a lot, you know, personally, like, just, you know, continuing your YouTube career, taking a pause on YouTube, and then, like, actually pursuing music. You want to, like, dive into, like, the pause on YouTube or? Uh, yeah, it's cool. Um, basically, I'm just, I'm, I'm stopping doing the YouTube and the public interviews and the, uh, just the whole big content creation stuff that I was doing. It's, um, content creation will always be there. It's a big industry. It's, it's, it's fairly new. Uh, a fairly new industry, per se. Um, but music, I don't want to. I don't want to miss my opportunity. I don't want to miss that that time, especially that time when I'm the most creative in the world uh, in my lifetime. So I don't want to miss that uh, that music creative uh, time phase. So I just want to just go all in right now, literally before it's just too late. Just go all in. Just no no regrets. 100% risk. Mm -hmm. Just go. Yeah. yeah. What do you think are the differences between like dedicating your whole time to YouTube with music? What was the difference? Yeah. Uh, like you know, you gotta gain like a different type of mindset with YouTube creation, content, and music. It's just like writing a song, finding the beats type, you know. Uh, well, I, I want to say, I want I want to say it's a lot different, but at the same time, I want to say it's very similar for me. That is, I'm not sure for any other artist, but for me, it's kind of similar. Uh, with YouTube and like content creation stuff, I basically woke up thought about just sat down just for maybe five to ten minutes and brainstormed what I wanted to do that day and then just did it. Mm -hmm. It was like a day-to-day a -day thing, just get up and go type of thing. Uh, it was never planned. A lot of stuff wasn't planned. As far as my music, it's almost a little bit like the same way. Mm -hmm. It's um, just whenever I'm feeling creative, whenever I'm feeling like I just got a melody inside my head or whenever I just get some lyrics that I just got to, oh, that's a bar. Even though I don't even hear a beat inside my head, I just want to hurry up and write it down. Yeah, it's just a, as soon as I hear something, or as soon as I think about something, or want to be creative, I just got to stop everything else that I'm doing, and it's just like a get up and go right now. Okay. Just do it and just go for it. So they, they most mostly similar for me. Okay, no, that's definitely dope. When it comes to like making music, are you more like writing like your music, or do you like punch in? Don't tell nobody this. No, I'm just playing. Uh, but uh. I write. I make sure I write. I write a lot. I write a whole lot. Like you'll catch me writing all the time. Um, I'm not too much of a freestyler or um, punching guy on the mic every second. Like I'm, my brain don't work that fast. But I'm, I'm a writer for real. Okay, no, it's definitely dope. Cause I feel like personally, like I come across a lot of people that like really just say that they just punch in and like, regardless, like. Even uh, me and Willie here, we was just talking about, like, how, personally, I don't have, like, music making bone in my body. It's just, like, uh -huh. if you can make music regardless, like, whether you punching in or just writing, it's just, like, hey, especially, like, how you just said, with no beat, too, it's, like, that's definitely different or whatever. But, uh, so, Bo, like, I mean, you definitely <laughs> speak for itself, you know, like you said, the gifted idiot, you yeah. know. Definitely a talented artist in general, you know, like, I don't know if people who have did they homework or whatever, but uh, 
this just taking a little pause, but yeah. uh, Rhythm and Flow season one, yes. you were a contestant on that. You were featured on the shy music artist itself. But was music like your first like passion? It was. Okay. It was since I was like five. I want to say it was the Jacksons, an American Dream movie. Oh, that bro. got me. Me and my brother just always watch it, like literally all day, every day, back to back, That's until we learned. Movie. Until we learned it, and our grandma allowed it. So it's like from that point on, any movie that had anything to do with music, we studied it. So the Jacksons, Temptations, Five Heartbeats. What's love got to do with it? Why do fools fall in love? Even if it had ten seconds worth of music, I'm watching it. No, nah, for sure. Just to, just to learn it. So yeah. No, nah. and like, would you just consider yourself just a rapper or a musical artist itself? Bro, I um, I, I learned this word called virtuoso, right? Mm. And this basically means you're just well rounded in many creative areas, bro. No, nah, for that's, sure. That's just how I have to describe myself at this point. No, nah, no doubt. What high school did you go to? Just I went to Dunbar. Really? I went to Dunbar on the low end, yeah. Okay. Mighty Man and Women forever. Okay, no, because, like, I was low-key thinking, like, what if she low-key just went to, like, shot arts type shit, and then it was just, like, that would have just made hella more sense. But Dunbar, <laughs> like, that's definitely interesting. Yeah. How was high school like for you? The same as me and Big Mouth Bo. I was Bo then, but it was just, it was a little turned down. But I chose Dunbar for the reason of pursuing music. Because I had to choose, honestly. When I was in eighth grade, I said, okay, do I want to pursue music or do I want to do basketball? Because mm-hmm. I fell in love. Basketball was one of my first loves at, uh, at the point. Oh, bro. And so if I would have pursued but sports, I would have went to Simeon to play basketball. But by Paul Lawrence Dunbar being a famous African-American poet, and then I had a lot of family members that went there. I'm like, I'm going to go here. And look what happened. And a lot of people from Chicago uh, musically came from Dunbar. You know, Jennifer Hudson is an alumni. Mm-hmm. Lou Rawls is an alumni. Mr. T is an alumni. So... Man. Hold on, hold on. Are we calling out names from 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 that came from? The I was like, because we can definitely go bar by bar. We we, 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 like, you want to go? We, we, we definitely, we definitely can go. Uh, artist for artist, uh, famous person for famous person. Um, um, Jeremiah, um, um, KC Flash. Mm. My father. I was like, if uh, we just naming famous people from high schools. Like, hey, I got Ayo Desumo. Ayo Ayo Desumo. Yeah, what's the what's the lady that? For, don't hey, do not cancel me for this. What's the what's the lady that went in space? The first black lady. Oh, you talking about uh, May Jamison? Jamison. Yeah. Oh, bro. Morgan Park. Oh, bro. Morgan Park alumni, do See, your homework. I, I like the Mustangs, though. I had a lot of family that went to the, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I walked yeah, with yeah. y'all. I'm glad you yeah. ain't go to Simeon because you would have been an op, though, to be honest with you. Yeah, because they was our ops. You know, because our oh, colors okay. are blue and gold, and then their uh, colors are blue and gold. Tight. So it's like always the battle with a blue and gold clash. Tight. And by the way, Dunbar murdered Simeon this year in basketball. Ooh. I just wanted to say that. It, it surprised me because Simeon had the best record. Yeah. Hey. So when I seen that, I was like, oh. I'm like, anybody uh, here Simeon, they automatically think basketball. And then it's just like, hey, if you could actually say your school beat them, that's a dub, them, regardless of any sport, you feel me? Yeah. Nah, shout out all the watchers yeah, that shout went out, to Simeon. Yeah, shout out all the Wolverines. Shout, shout out the Wolverines. Shout out the Mustangs. Shout out Mighty Man Dunbar. Yes. There we go. Shout out all three of those schools, Royal man. Bro, all CPS. But, uh, okay. All CPS. Oh, um, bro. Uh, okay. Same type of person in high school. Did you go to college? I did go to college. So after I graduated high school, I went to Kid and King for a year. Uh-huh. And I went home and I told my grandma, I'm like, this shit suck. I don't want to go to school no more. So I went to Job Corps. Okay. I went to Joliet Job Corps. Uh, for about a year and a half, where surprisingly I, was, I signed up and enlisted for the military. A lot of people don't know this, so this is this is a story Damn. nobody knows. Actually, you get an exclusive. I signed up for the military. I was about to go. What uh, branch? The army. Damn. The army, because in job corps I was doing a security meal cap, so I was already in training. Okay. And so by the time I would have left there, I would have already had rank. So it was literally. I want to say maybe a week before I was supposed to leave, I had to beg, plead, do all type of stuff to get out of it. Like, it was damn near impossible. But I, I got out of it. I changed my mind. I had to pray on it, and I had to change your heart last minute. So. Man, I mean, I definitely understand it because it's just like college. I feel like with our generation alone, it's just like high schools, like guidance counselors and stuff like that, they fake force college on us type yeah. shit. You feel me? It's just like. If you win, let's just say for a year, and you would probably stick with it, or either just go the whole way, or just drop out after like the first semester type shit. So it's just like it's weird just seeing how it is now. It's how like a lot of kids, like I don't want to call out the YN specifically, but it's just like a lot of kids nowadays don't want to stay with college. You they, know, and it's just like 
Yeah. I personally, like, gained a lot just from going to school, you know, just, like, yeah. the connections I made and stuff like that. But it's just, like, college isn't for everybody type shit, so. And, and for me, it was more so just the environment and the energy. Because I love school. I love learning. I was always a straight-A student. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was just... Kennedy King, I'm like, I couldn't do it. So even when I left Joliet Job Corps, I went to Northwestern. Like, oh. a lot of people don't know this. I went to Northwestern. I got all the way up to my senior year. And then the last semester, my mom passed away. Oh, like, shit. the beginning of the last semester of yeah. my senior year. So I was just like, nope, fuck it. Type shit. <laughs> and that was it. So I can understand that, though. Yeah. It's just like, when you just got that battery and then it's just like, not to say like it died well. The no ambition, the, yeah, shit. the ambition. That no, it's all yeah. good, bro. The, the ambition, to kind of just died down because I was like, all right, well, what am I doing at this point? You know what I'm saying? At that point, it just leaves you void. So I was like, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool with it. It'll figure itself out. So okay, so let's just go into like your music career. Like, how old were you when you like dropped your first song? My first song, surprisingly, I was in third grade. Okay, I was in third grade, and I did this little kitty rap on this little tape recorder thing because yeah. I had older brothers that rap uh -huh. and so when I told them they took me under their wing and then if you're talking about like the first first song that kind of got like airplay I said like my freshman year of high school okay. 2008 no that's dope you dropped your own what YouTube yeah okay. it was on YouTube and SoundCloud was popping damn is it still out there you think it's still out there. My first mixtape ever is still out there on Dat Piff. It's crazy. Damn, it's crazy. Man. I listen to it sometime in the shower. I haven't been on Dat Piff in years. So. Yeah. Shit, no, that's definitely that dope. So, okay. You say you don't know what that is? Know what oh, that man, is. I'm telling I, I, my I, I, age oh, right fuck, now. Fuck, you don't know what that is. Even he looked like, what? You don't know what Dat Piff is? We was at Grandma's basement on that line yeah, wire yeah, phone. Line wire, yeah. I was somewhere on Garage Band still trying to figure out how to Garage press the button. Garage Band, a little too late, <laughs> Shoot. I, I never got into Garage Band. That's the crazy part. I never was on there. That was the only thing I knew how to how to how to use. I didn't know. I didn't even know what. Uh, what is it? The programs and stuff. Uh, FP. Uh, oh, FL. 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 I didn't even know what FL was. I didn't know what uh, any of the other software was platforms was. All I knew was Garage Band. What's crazy is I uh back when I was in like. High school, maybe like freshman, sophomore year of college, when I was like, man, fuck it, I want to just be a fucking music producer slash engineer. Like, that's what I use, fucking garage, man. I'm just like, damn, I like saw like what it really took behind the scenes. I'm just like, damn, nah, I'm cool with it. Now we here, podcasting type shit. Uh, but uh, okay, so let's just go into like, when would you say, Bo, like you had at least like a big break within music? Like on a big scale? Yeah. A big scale, I would have to say, well, I always did, like, local talent shows and stuff like that, but on a big, big scale, the first time was Rhythm and Flow. Okay. For real, for real. If, if we're doing, like, a national scale, for real. Okay, so how did that come about? Like, you just heard, like, they were having auditions and then just tried out, or? Let me tell you how God worked. Let me tell you what's God. Let me tell you how God worked. Sure. During the announcement of Rhythm and Flow, and you can get more into this, you ask more questions about it later, but... Uh -huh. That was the darkest time of my life, bro. Like, my mom had passed away. I was damn near homeless at that time. Like, my phone wasn't on any of that. Yeah. And so I was connected to Wi-Fi. I was in the house. I was connected to Wi-Fi, and I had seen a post that, like, I think T.I. made a post first. And then Cardi made a post. Uh -huh. When Chance made his post for Chicago, I didn't see it. I didn't have no Wi-Fi. My phone was off, all that. One of my cousins literally ran from his house to my house damn. to tell me, like, Look what Chance the Rapper. <laughs> Look what Chance just posted. Because everybody knew I was a Chance fanatic at yeah. that point. Like, worship that man music. You see what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, for real? I was like, but how am I uploading? Like, I don't have no Wi-Fi. I don't have nothing going on. But I did it. I, I made the video. I submitted it. Then, like, a week or two later, I got a call from somebody. And they was like, yeah, we gonna, um, we gonna keep you in the queue. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. Months pass. I'm like, man, ain't nothing going on. Months pass. One day I get a random call. Mm -hmm. And it's like, hi, yes, my name is Bianca. I'm with blah, 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 rhythm and flow, bro. I was half asleep. I woke up like, oh, this shit real? It's the power of God, man. That's all I can say. Man. Shout out to you, big dog. <laughs> man, no, nah, for sure. That's definitely dope as hell. So, and where was season one shot at? We shot, we filmed in L.A. L.A., okay. We uh, primarily filmed in L.A., but they went to everybody, like hometowns. Okay. And we, they had us in L.A., man. Yeah, no, nah, it's definitely dope, because I just remember, like, when I watched it, you know, just seeing you, like, the uh, two episodes I mainly just remembered are the music video one. <laughs> I know what you're about to say. <laughs> and the rap battle. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Hey, if y'all haven't seen Rhythm and Flow Season 1, bro, definitely check it out, because, like, you definitely represented the city for sure. And then, yeah. like, obviously, like, 
Chance the Rapper being a judge, because that was, like, right after uh, Coloring Book dropped. And so he's, like, right definitely, after. like, top of the rap game, mm-hmm. if anything. And, like, of course, like, he was just being, like, I don't want to say, well, hard on you, but it's just, like, I feel like as an artist, you, you will want that. you want and need that, you know, especially, like, for someone of his status, you know? Yeah, because at that time, bro, it was literally to the point where, like, and I don't even know if I ever told Chance this, but right before that, when I told you, like, how I was going through all that, when Coloring Book dropped, bro, I literally was walking mm. like two hours to work and I would walk two hours back Damn. and the only thing that was in my head or is in my ear rather was chance yeah I'm listening to coloring book and I'm listening to the words like bro if my mama heard this song she'd love it and I'm just walking and manifesting walking and manifesting I said all I got to do is run into him one day one day I'm gonna run into him my life gonna change bro ran into the man life changed forever Man, like the power of manifestation is definitely yes, real bro. for sure. Yes, bro, for real. So okay, so what would you say like you gained from being on rhythm and flow? Confidence, discipline, and the understanding of the industry. Like you have to be able to understand because you have actuality, then you have reality. Yeah. And then sometimes people may be like, wow. some things may look at things like, oh, this is unfair, or this is you may is it all because you don't understand it. You have to learn to have a perception from everyone's point of view. Like, because I was just looking at it from an artist's point of view. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people felt entitled. You had artists there who felt entitled, like, I ain't wearing that. I ain't doing that. You had some people who was super shy, not knowing what to do, like, mm-hmm. terrified. And me, I was like, I'm an observer. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to peep the energy. I'm going to learn everything. And it, it hit for me one day because we had to be on set at maybe, like, 5, 6 in the morning. I'm like, if we got to be here at 5, that means they didn't go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So when you take that type of consideration into it, it's like, man, I got so much love and energy for y'all. Let me just, yeah. let me learn to chill and just relax. Like, this is a privilege. Nah, we feel sure. like we're entitled to this, but this is a privilege. They could have picked anybody in the world. So that's yeah. what I learned from Rhythm and Flow. Man, no, nah, for sure. And I feel like entitlement is, like, what gets a lot of people, like, held back from a lot of things, you know? And it's just, like, whether they know it or not, not only is it just your time, but it's just, like, you got camera crew, producers, directors, the Man, judges themselves. The so wardrobe, like, the catering, everything. Then even the judges themselves. Like, I'm pretty sure that they had all type of stuff going on in between filming, bro. So Yeah. yeah. Are you still, like, in touch with any of the other um, contestants from uh, season one? I am. I am. Uh, I talk to Inglewood IB a lot, my oh, boy bro. from uh, Cali. I talk to Ali Tamanique, okay. you know, the guy with the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Which, Catch up. Hey, do y'all homework on Ali. That man is going crazy with all type of animations my, and I stuff. Did, did you homework. see it? I did my homework. Man, for sure. uh, Jacob Campbell. Shout out my boy Jacob Campbell from Denver. Just linked up with Ariane after all these years, bro. It's literally been like five years. Hey, like, hold on, hold on. Before, one, before we say anything, <laughs> Ariane was supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, uh, unfortunate uh, situation came upon him, so yeah. he could not be here, he today. Not be here today. But we're going to try to get him on the phone. For sure. We're, we're going to try, we're we're gonna try, try to get him on the phone before we get up out of before here. Before we get up out of here. Yep. Uh, I still speak with Ariane, J-Ham, Mumba, Sasha Gohar. I, I, I keep in contact with a lot of people. Okay, no, that's definitely yeah. dope. King Los. Like, even, even if you want a contestant, yeah. even some of the, like, 80s and stuff like that, I, I, I keep in contact with a lot of people. No, nah, for sure. That's definitely you know? dope. Um, <laughs> he know I did that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So, just being an artist, like, are you independent? Are you with a label? Okay, I'm going to give you exclusive. I am independent. However, I did just sign a partner deal with United Masters. Oh, no, we got to give a uh, clap. Oh, like, That's definitely like, yeah, major. Yeah, yeah. Definitely for major. sure, for sure. I'm going to give y'all, y'all claps because nobody knows that. The announcement <laughs> hasn't even been made yet. I'm just dropping stuff today. You hey, asked. Hey, I'm going to tell you. Hey, hey, hey. So, y'all got an exclusive. Oh, yeah, bro. so, um, but I am primarily independent. Yeah, I'm a partner artist, so they'll deal with, like, the distribution part of it. No. Um, I've had offers. Yeah. I've always consulted with... My artist friends who are up there yeah. in leverage, and they'll either tell me, like, yay or nay. But overall, a lot of the artists told me, like, bro, you don't need a contract. You just need exposure and a team. Oh, bro. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, that makes sense, especially with the way you got TikTok now, the independent DSPs. Like, yep. let's do it. No, nah, for sure. Exposure is definitely, like, the main thing that just comes with being an artist, no matter, like, what your craft is. Because it's just, like, anyone can see the talent, you know, mm-hmm. recognize it. But it's just, like getting it out there not really a hard part but like getting like the right people type shit you know what i'm saying so okay 
uh, Casey, you know, me and you, <laughs> like I said earlier, like me and you, we've been planning this for quite some time. Uh, I just remember, like, I don't know if I was like driving, like in the crib, or whatever, but you was just like, man, bro, I got something for you. And then it's just like, here we are today, type, you know? So, honestly, before we even get into that, let's just dive into like you as a musical artist, you know, again, you recently had like an open mic or was it a talent show recently? Correct. How did that go about? Um, I haven't performed in a long time. Mm-hmm. A very, very, very long time. Um, I would say that the rhythm and flow uh shooting was uh when we shot the episode that I was in, that was the first time I performed in maybe five, six years. Wow. As an artist. Um and it was new it was almost like it was new to me. Like it was so new. And uh yeah. Were you nervous? I was nervous. nervous. I was nervous. Uh the last time I just performed, so it was that was almost new to me again, just all over again, just being new. But me becoming the artist mm-hmm. that I really want to be, I had to do it. I had to just do it nervous, I had to do it shy. Um I seen a flyer maybe a couple of days before um before that type that little open mic event. Shout out Scott Bass, uh Free Scott Free Bass because he's the one that uh pretty much put me on to that little open mic event. Um but yeah, I got there. Uh basically just I I did I do what Bo does. I, I'm a real observant person. I, I like to sit back, be quiet, shut shut up, stay in the corner somewhere. So I can just get a feel of the room. Uh, got there, got a feel of it. Uh, loosened up a little bit, you know, just started talking to people, just getting a little bit comfortable with the scenery. And uh, yeah, I was pretty much one of the last people to go, which was the good part for me because I was so shy and I just needed to just loosen up the whole time. But when I did get on stage, um, it started to go perfectly, like started to. Uh, I was confident with what I was saying. I was saying all the right stuff. The piano keys was being pressed the correct way. And then that's when um, it starts to slip in. That's when the, the mistakes start to uh, slip. So that's when the, the doubt starts to come in and you start to ultimately like start to mess up. Uh, you make mistakes and then mistakes after mistakes. Now you start thinking about the mistakes and then it kind of goes left from there. And that's pretty much what happened with the last performance that I did just have. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started out perfect, I started out good but um, I let the doubt sink in. I let that uh, the mistakes basically just over, over overshadow type. everything. And yeah. basically, it just it was it was gone. It was done from there. Yeah. Man, just outside of art itself, you know, like whenever you just have like I don't want to call it like self doubt, but it's just like you feel or at least think like those mistakes are gonna happen. It's just like it's just a big ass gun punch. What am I doing? Type shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it's just like. <laughs> You as an artist, you know, you definitely know, like, your worth and what you're capable of. But it's just like, you know, you just got to, like, put that behind you, you know. So how did you know or find out about, like, the uh, auditions for season two? Uh... (laughs) Uh, my mine mine was very different from everyone else's, and they, I'm pretty sure they'll tell you. Um, huge, huge, and this is me giving you your flowers. I'm not. What camera? Which camera are we looking at right now? This is this is me giving me giving you your flowers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to two people. One, big shout out to Hot Rod. Hot Rod from yes. I think he's with WGCI right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, he used to be we with like Power, uh, 92. Power 92. Uh, you hear him on the radio. If you turn the radio on right now, you probably will hear him. But big shout out to him and big shout out to another person. I don't want to say their name because I don't know if um, yeah. You can say it. Um, big, huge, humongous, um, non taken back. Thank you and uh, just. Much appreciation to Big Mouth Bo because uh, she is one of the ones that basically put my name in the mix and said, hey, he got what it takes. He he, he is one of the ones that can actually put on for the city. So uh, just giving y'all y'all flowers right now. This is just that moment to um, do that. But um, Hot Rod posted a flyer, um, and it was a low-key flyer. Like, you couldn't tell what was going on in that flyer. Like, I didn't know what <laughs> it was for. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they did it on purpose for that reason, like, yeah. obviously. Um, but nobody pretty much liked that post. Mm. And 
in my mind, I'm like Bo was. I was at my lowest point at that time. I was basically living out of a storage unit, you know, not fully, but I was living in my mom's house, mm -hmm. uh, which is a one bedroom, and it's me and my siblings, you know, and I'm 20 something years old. Um, but I got a whole setup in the storage unit where I'm creating content, where yeah. I'm going in there making music, just doing whatever, just trying to get out of the situation that I'm in. And I said, hey, what all, what, I mean, what, I said, hey, what can you lose at this moment? Like, what is it to lose? You at the mm -hmm. bottom, literally, at the bottom of the bottom. Maybe a little bit over it, but you at the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. What can you lose? So I said, I'm going to just go for it. Whatever this application is, whatever this this event is, I'm going to just sign up for it and just take advantage of it the most that I can, you know, as an artist. And plus, I was trying to get back into my artistry anyway and my mm -hmm. creativeness as a musician. Uh, I signed up for it. Uh, same kind of situation with Bo <laughs> that Bo went through. Uh, just waited months on the end. That, that fly wasn't about nothing. He was sending me off. Uh, out of nowhere, I get a call. Hey, um, we got this little opportunity that do you want to be a part of it? Um, <laughs> it's called an un Untitled Competition Show. Untitled, untitled Music untitled, Competition yeah, Show. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. They told me, like, yeah, okay. I'm thinking, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm down for it. But, yeah, like, uh, I mean, I had nothing to lose. So yeah. I signed up for the flyer. They gave me a call months later. Uh, it was long. It was long. It was a couple months, too. Mm -hmm. Called me like, hey, you want to do it? I'm like, okay, let's do it. Uh, whatever it is, I'm down for it at this point. Mm -hmm. I have nothing. So let's go. Okay. I love that. And, like, how, when did you, like, learn what it, the show actually was? Uh, so me personally, if you know, then you know. <laughs> I'm a I'm an investigator. I'm an FBI investigator. Yeah. I search. I, 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 I will find I will find I, that, I, okay, what I was gonna say wouldn't be right good. Yeah. So anyway, I will I will find your whole line of blood. I will find your whole bloodline if yeah. I need to. That's that's the type of person I am. So I've literally found out maybe Two weeks after that call. Mm -hmm. Literally. That's two actually weeks. not bad of a timeline to be honest. Two with weeks you. after that call, I found out. And they didn't even tell, like, nobody told me anything. I ain't going to say my hints because next, the next people that, go, I don't want y'all to, to yeah. know. Y'all got to gotta figure it out on your own. But I basically found out. I did my own little research. I did woo 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 soon as, I, as soon as I seen, like, contracts, I seen little uh, extra papers I had to sign. I seen certain names in those contracts. And I was like, I know what this is. Yeah. I'm glad you is. read your contracts. I was like, it's I, definitely I, I, good I, that I, you I'm read I'm glad it. you read your contracts. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't play that. I don't even play like that. No, for sure, man. Yeah, I, first, thing, first thing I look for when I look at that con when I look at contracts. Perpetuity. Perpetuity. My boy. <laughs> There's anything y'all going to pick up from this. Perpetuity, royalties, uh, <laughs> revenue, uh, uh, my my... What is it? My my look, your likeness, my likeness, like your the rights to your likeness, your world. Yeah, your, yeah when they put yeah. the word "world" in parentheses. Yeah, I, I look at all that. Them first things I go for. I don't even. I, I I skim through the little contract. I just look for those words, and then when I start finding those words, I go back in the sentence, a couple sentences, and then I read that whole paragraph. That's yeah, what I, do. I was I was happy for you, bro. Like I was so happy because I appreciate the that. thing yeah. is like so. Originally, when season two was supposed to come out, it was around COVID. Yeah. And they shut production down. Yeah. Cause I was gonna do season two originally. Well, they had asked me to. Somebody had reached out, and then they called me back, and they like, nah. They said you made it too far in the competition. That'd be like Damn. cheating. I'm like, that's cool. So when they brought it back around this time, instead of asking me like, yo, be on the show, they like, yo, we coming to your city. You know any artists or, woo okay. woo, we trust your judgment. Shout out to my contact over there. I ain't gonna say your name, but Ooh. um, yeah. And I was like. Yep, and then even they already had a roster. Surprisingly, they had a roster of some artists, and they'd be like, yo, do you know this person or do you know this person? I'm like, yep, yep, yep. Or even some people who I still haven't met to this day, mm -hmm. if I heard your name or I know someone from your team or I just feel like I go on your page and you got it, I'm going to tell them yes. Mm -hmm. Like, my whole thing is giving, giving out and helping the city, bro. So yeah. I can vouch for that. No, nah, for real, for bro. She, so she's like, like that. So I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Or somebody, manager would text me like, yo, had them pull, woo, woo. All right, cool. We ain't never had no problem. Hey, yo, pull this out. Yeah. So it's all love. So I'm happy. I was so happy for him. I'm still happy for you, bro. Like you don't even understand an entirely new world is about to open up for you, bro. Like, and I'm just happy. I, for I you. really, I really appreciate it. It, yeah, it actually, it cha it changed a lot for me. Even with the show not even dropping just yet, it uh, it changed it changed a whole lot for me. A whole lot. But honestly, bro, that's why 
and I, I want you to have the same mindset or at least try to uh, adapt it. That's why I follow my dreams. Because if I was following my dreams for me, bro, I probably would have stopped at Rhythm and Flow. You know what I'm saying? I'm multifaceted. I'm the type of person, I, I want to see if I wanted to be a professional rapper, could I? All right, check. If I wanted to act, could I? Okay, check. If I wanted to, could I? But it's not about me. It's about everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So with me doing that and creating the, you know what I'm saying, relationship I have with them, I'm able to, yeah, do this, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about y'all. Shit, the, the next generation of artists coming up. So I want you to do the same for everybody else, bro. Any, sure. You use your, what you got, and help. Pull, sure. pull them up. If we in the door, we just pulling them in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For yeah. real. For sure, for sure. Oh, that's definitely dope. I mean, I feel like we definitely need, like, a lot more people, especially, like, with names in the city because mm -hmm. it's just, like, I remember, like, when our first interview happened, like, we talked about, you know, if you would want to move out of Chicago, and it's just, like, I was actually having this conversation with my cousin and how New York definitely is New York, obviously, L.A., Atlanta, but it's just, like, Chicago itself is just, like, we just as good, if not better, than, like, all those cities, you feel me? Like, we have culture, we have a sound. You feel me? Like, everybody know about Chicago, and I feel like other cities want to be like Chicago. Yeah, but it's like, style. yeah culture. Yeah, we, we're definitely culture creators. The only thing yeah. is, we lacked unity. And I yeah. say lacked because we got a lot of push and peace going on right now. Shout out everybody that's doing their yeah. thing to come oh, together. Yeah. I say give us a year. We'll be we'll be on top, bro. No, nah, for we'll sure. Be on top. I agree. Okay, and what do you think of, like, the sound of the city right now? The sound as far as the wave? Yeah. I am honestly excited to see what the new wave is. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm excited to see because we've had our dancing and bop era. Mm -hmm. We've had our drill era. We've had our lyrical era. You know what I'm saying? So what we what we doing now? You know what I'm saying? Are we finna get back to the what we doing? I'm waiting to see what it sounds like. But mm -hmm. I am excited for all the artists that's out there. Like, shout out Star Bands, Lil Chief Baby, do it. Everybody that's doing their thing. Shout out to everybody. I'm happy. I want everybody to win. But... I'm just excited to see what's next. No, or for create sure. it. It no, might be my sure. sound. We don't know. Yeah. We don't yeah. know. Maybe KC Kappa. <laughs> Maybe Bo and KC Kappa. Hold hey, on, listen, hold on, hold listen, on. Listen, listen, they don't know what's going on, bro. <laughs> but okay. Um, no, you know. What was I about to get into? So uh, I just saw, like, if y'all follow KC on Instagram, you feel me? Like, his stories, you know, he definitely had a little, like, behind the scenes type of video shoot, you know, had the camera set up, the green, what was that, track? Nah, that wasn't even no track. It's okay. just a straight A. Straight a. Okay, no. Old body you, style, old body. Okay. You're still pushing it. When can we expect that? Uh, Very soon, I'm going to just say that. Okay. I'm just, very, very soon. No. Say that. It's actually crazy, though, because just going back to, like, that phone call, and we was planning this, you know, and then, like, you posted the trailer to uh, season two of Rhythm and Flow. I was just, like, so hyped. Because I'm just like, nah, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Because it's just, like, just knowing you from, like, just Western and just, like, yeah. just the YouTube standpoint. And then just knowing you were pursuing music. It's just, like, this is, like, really bro's big break type shit, yes. you know. So it's just, like, it's definitely major, you know. We definitely glad to at least see you winning over here. So definitely just it, excited to see that. it. I'm happy for you, bro. Uh, not only, I'm sorry, uh, to before you ask your, second, your next you question, uh, not only to give Bo and DJ High Rod uh, their flowers, but to give Jace his flowers as well. Uh, I've been tuned in, bro, for some time, bro. You've been elevating, you've been doing your thing. I uh, uh, love how you went from your apartment to a whole actual bro. venue. You in a whole little space now. You got your own, like, and then you, your questions, man, they becoming more more put together. Everything's just becoming, I'm, I'm, I'm watching you just do your thing, man. Dang. And it's, it's, no, it's I definitely so, appreciate that, bro, because it's just so like, real. how y'all know as musical artists, you feel me? It's just like, hey, it ain't easy behind the scenes. It might look easy from the outside looking in, but... It ain't easy, yo. I promise you it's not. Shoot. The thing is, before I got in front of the mic, I used to be behind the scenes a mm -hmm. lot. I'm still behind the scenes of a lot. KC I tell you, bro, I'm behind the scenes of so much you wouldn't even expect it. Yeah. You would not expect it, but I love to do it. No, and for that's sure. that's kind of why my music was prolonged because I was so, nope, let me manage this person. Or let me go right for this person. Or let me put this on. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. this. I'm like, wait, where my music at? And <sighs> surprisingly, I got a call from Genesis. Like three days ago, and shout she was like, out, shout, out "Shout out Genesis, Denise Hale, man." She was like, "Do you need that?" And I'm like, "What you mean?" She like, "Cause I'm listening to your music, and you ain't putting it out. Do you need that?" And fun fact, Genesis' dad, shout out for Nam, is the reason I even started doing poetry as a mm. little kid. I used to go to uh, the Cleo Center on 55th, mm. and he had an entire team called Lyric Squad where he'd teach you about poetry. So, 
crazy how the world really Shut works. Down. It'd be full circle <laughs> moments full when circle, you really bro. see it. We could just go into this. What advice would both of y'all just have for like young creators now? Because I feel like this next generation, like with social media, people will just want to like do something, you know? So what advice would y'all have for them? Honestly, my advice is going to sound crazy, but fail faster. Like fail so fast so you can get right back up. And I'm telling you because as creators, I, I can speak for myself, probably other creators, but I overthink a lot. I overthink a lot. Is, is this going to be the one to pop? Should I sound like this? Should I sound like this? Like, whatever comes to your mind, just put it out there. There are no rules to creativity. That's the whole point in being creative. You can do, look like, sound like whatever you want to, bro. Hence why you got so many different rappers that can just jump in and out of any genre, bro. Fail faster and chase your dreams. Don't let nobody stop you. Anything mm. is possible. I'm telling you, that's it. That's, the, that's it. Mm. Oh, and believe in God. Keep God first always. Yes, bro. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I think mine is a little bit piggybacking off of what she just said. But uh, my advice is just be creative. Be as creative as you can possibly be. It's no such thing as doing this music stuff the right way. It's no such thing at all. You have to just be creative. Make your own sound. Make your own look. Make your own wave. Somebody will listen, and once you get those people to start listening, you'll get more people to start listening. You'll get more people to start listening. And then once a group of people are listening, more groups of people start listening. And then they say, hey, that's actually creative. That's, I actually like his sound. I actually like that. And that's how you start growing. And you become you become different, distinctive, distinguished. I can't get the Distinguish. words. Yep. Distinguish. Words are hard. Different yes. than everybody else. And then you create your own lane. And then you got something that nobody else can su supply the market. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got a, I got a little fight in no. me. No, you, no, 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 you got that. That's I'm what they need to hear. Literally, because what you just said applied to me, bro. When you Same. like just just go and just do it. You never know what could happen. You facts. That's what, oh, you, never bro. Know. you never know, KC. That's never facts, know. bro. Because what's crazy is like, Everyone that's watching this, like, your favorite artist or whoever you was just listening to is just, like, they were exactly where we all were. You feel me? Like, literally at the bottom, but, like, still just chasing their dreams, you know? I actually saw uh, a clip the other day. It was Denzel Curry on Kai Sinat's stream. And he was just, like, <laughs> kids make dreams and adults chase them or something like that. And it's just, like, that was a real fact. You feel me? So it was definitely something I took away from that. So just going back to season two of uh, Rhythm and Flow, would you say, like, there are any – differences and similarities to season one well let's talk about it we gotta i don't know if we ever even compared in contrast brother to uh, even know the differences mm. um i want to say yes and no uh for one we shot uh we shot mainly in atlanta it was not in la uh from what i i know i don't know everything because I, I i got yeah hey, this you know, is your story bro y'all y'all know when y'all see it but um, as far as we had some heavy hitters, it was definitely heavy hitters um, that we were going against. This is a real competition. This is nothing. This ain't this ain't no this ain't no bubblegum rap. Yeah. This is not that. You know, these are uh, actual good artists. These are good writers. These are good MCs. MCs. Um, as far as being different, that's a good question. I think I'm gonna let Bo take that because. Well, I know we filmed in L.A predominantly in LA. Uh, did you all have the same challenges as us as far as like ciphers, battle raps, um, videos? Like, they, did you guys? They told us about a, like, are we good at battle rapping? Uh, have we ever been in a cipher? But I ain't make it to that. <laughs> I ain't make it to that. Episode. It's all. <laughs> I was ready though. I will, I will say this. Before we, before. <laughs> I'm laughing with you, not at you, brother. I got eliminated too. <laughs> uh, Genesis. Uh, before, oh, can we pause real quick? Uh, Genesis, and then let the shout out to Genesis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let both do. Yeah. Wait, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out my, shout out my PR Kennedy. She just walked in the building and Genesis. Uh, melanated, <laughs> multi melanated, multi hyphenate, multi faceted. Genesis Denise Hale. She told me that the first time. I was like, what she said? Genesis is my sister through spirit. I just told you, if it wasn't for her dad, I probably wouldn't even be rapping. So, <laughs> I remember when Genesis was like this little and she used to have pigtails and she used to be performing. And so then when I started working with her on the show, I was like, I guarantee she don't remember. I'm about to mess her head up. And I told her. <laughs> 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 
It'd be trippy though when you just like that kid and then like somebody be like, Oh, I knew you when you was in like this was smaller. So happy and you I just could like, finally do that to somebody. Bro. And I knew you when you was little. You don't even remember me. It's okay. Bro. It's okay. No, that'd be real though. But uh, all right. We was just talking about like the uh differences from season one to season two though. Yeah. So y'all didn't do every challenge. We um, I do not know. I do know that they um stated something about a cipher and mm-hmm. um what was the other one? A f- a freestyle, something like that. Uh, freestyle battle, battle rap. Uh, yeah. But I didn't get to that that, that, yeah. that episode, so yeah. I don't. I'm not sure what they did. Hopefully they did, cause I want to hear something. But I will say that before we went on the stage for the first episode, they were in the basement battle rapping, and I was hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "You ain't got to worry Dude. about me." I was like, man, I you got to treat like the lunch table, bro. Oh, y'all yeah. put y'all put me in that battle rap. I'm gonna talk about drill. <laughs> y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want it. I'm trying to tell you. That's not, that's probably what they wanted. That's what they wanted. Cause see, I hated battle I day for too. us. Like the yeah. well, no, no, let me change it. I loved battle day. Yeah. But I hated the way it was perceived because they mm. made me look like a bully, yeah. and I was the nicest person on set. I'm talking yeah. about. I'm waking up every. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey y'all. The same way yeah. I am with y'all every day. Yeah. And then all the the crew had on like army fatigue gear. Like literally everybody had on black and green. So all the contestants looking at each other like, what the fuck going on? Yeah. They yeah, like it's, it's war day. And they yeah. literally came in. They're like, why y'all so happy? Why y'all giggling with each other? We like. They're like, it's time to tear each other's hands off. We like, oh shit, they for real. <laughs> this ain't like, the time oh, to be shit, friends. What's going on? Well, like, um, yeah, man, it was it was all fun and entertainment. No, nah, I'm not sure. mean at all, y'all. I promise y'all. It was just TV. I promise. Nah, I uh, promise you though, just from like a spectator point of view, it was just like, I mean, I can understand like the bullying, but it's just like I just saw that like she from the crib type shit, you feel me? It's just like we really rap, so it's just like Oh, the argument thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just how we are. That's just how Chicago yeah. is. And I feel like you 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 kinda touched on it a little bit. That's what they was expecting. They I feel like everybody from Chicago, they was already expecting us, even if we did hop in the um the battle rap or not. I think they was expecting everybody from Chicago to coming out with the vicious drill rap and the yeah. I'm gonna shoot you. With a certain I'm sliding. Demand. Fuck your dead homie. Fuck your shit. dead Just homies. Wooty like, woot. Like yeah. I, I feel like that was that was perceived. As far as the that came in out. the contestants, the cat, like everybody, like, uh, all together. I know. I, I know for the contestants. All the contestants, literally, no matter what contestants you talk to that ain't from Chicago, they literally said, "Oh, we know what y'all finna do." <laughs> oh, me yeah. and me and, and 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 if you know, you know. Me and Cece was looking at each other like, what? Like we, yeah. we come here to show our versatility, bro. We're not here just for drill rap. We're not here just to tell y'all we finna slide on y'all and we fuck y'all dead mamas and dead homies and dead all. We're not on that. We we come in here, we trying to show our versatility. We trying to show that we can actually hold a, a commercialized beat or um, uh, a beat, or what, are, what they call a beat bop beat, uh, boom bap beat. Yeah. That we can actually hold one of those and not even have to just turn on drill beats and trap beats for us to do our thing on. Yeah, that's but, facts. That's facts. But yeah, I feel like they was it was definitely... That we from the coming out talking about that. It was slightly, mm-hmm. it was slightly like that for us, but um, it was more so like some of the contestants, like they'll be like, like after we'll be rapping, because the thing was, one take Carter. Shout out my boy, one take Carter, the, the guy with the the bro. Mm-hmm. He came to me and he told me he was like, you need a gimmick. He was like, everybody here has a gimmick. He like Ali got the Rubik's cube, I got the hair. He like London got the hair. He was like. What's your gimmick? I said, nigga, I rap. <laughs> so from that point on, I promise yeah. you, on my mother's grave, I woke up every morning freestyling all day to the point it irritated them. Mm. And I'm freestyling about what we're doing. If we're getting on the bus, hopping on this you bus. Like, 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 they hated me, bro. But it's mm. like, you told me to find a gimmick, I'm going to show y'all what I do. Mm. And uh, one guy was like, you're lyrical. I was like, yeah. He like, I didn't know how to suspect the, the dreads and the, yeah. the tats. I was like, oh, you thought I was some thug shit, huh? <laughs> Fuck I'm like, nah, bro. It's just a... <laughs> It's crazy how people yeah. stereotype. I was like, insane. that's crazy. Yeah. Man. Stereotyping me like that. <laughs> Even when we argued, it was something like that. Yeah. But um just going back, you know, we uh mentioned how like chance was like just harder on you, like just being from the crib and stuff yeah. like that. Like let's say with KC, for example, would you say like you would be like that exact same way with him or I'll be that way with him. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Him, anybody from the crib. Because I understand. Even back then, when he was being hard on me, I understood. Mm-hmm. It's just I was a little more sensitive because, like, I loved Chance at the time. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had at this point, I hadn't had a personal relationship with him. Yeah. It's like, dude, you don't even know. Your music literally saved my life. Like, not even being funny, 
Blessings Part 2 literally saved my life so many times, bro. Like, no cap. I got a semicolon tattoo right here. Like, that's mm-hmm. why I don't even know a chance. No, this. Shout out to you, bro. You literally saved my life. So, um, him being hard on me the way he was, it was necessary. And I'm, I'm thankful for it. I'm grateful for it, honestly. Yeah. I'm glad it came from him. <laughs> I'm glad it came from him and nobody else. No, nah, for sure. So, let's just go into, like, y'all making music. Like, do y'all like making a song? in the studio performing live because like you know i just remember like that show i was at and like you know you definitely had the crowd hyped or whatever yeah. you feel me and i was just like man y'all definitely teed it up no so for me surprisingly i just like to rap like and that's my that's i'm not gonna say a problem but that was my biggest obstacle with yeah. music i will rap for hours and hours and hours but putting a song together, you want me to throw a hook in there? Just let me rap, bro. Yeah, I give you the bars, you construct it into a song. How about yeah. that? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I want to rap. And I tell anybody that, like, I may not be the best song maker or a hit writer, but I will out-rap your ass all day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's my go-to. That's what, I, I'm honest with it. Man. But I'm getting better. I'm um, bro, I'm for sure. Better. Getting better each and every day. Casey, what about you? I zoned out for a little bit. What was the question? <laughs> like when you making music, like I got ADHD. Don't 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 talk about it. What do you uh like the most? Like just writing the song, actually getting in the studio to record it or perform it. I think it's all of them for me. Uh, I actually was thinking about this question earlier today uh, before I even came here. Uh, what if somebody asked me that? So it's so coincidental that you asked that. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, it's all of them. Um, Kanye said something um, that really struck with me. Um, he said. Everything around his artistry is like a symphony. Mm. It's like everything plays an important role. So it's yeah. never just one thing that's just important or just one thing that's just like the most, like that one, that got to be perfection. It's like everything is so important that it, that it creates something even bigger. Mm-hmm. Or like just the, like the product, it has to be surrounded and supported by everything that's just like perfection. Wow. So I think the performing is number one the recording is number one the uh writing is number one everything is just number one no, i definitely yeah, I like, like how that. you put that um are there like any artists or producers y'all would want to work with like this could be either in the city worldwide somebody put this in caps kanye <laughs> kanye oh bro thank you you ever with kanye i could see that though i could see you with a kanye feature who else? Let's Who get else? Kanye. Let's get, let's get Kanye. Yeah, tap in. Any other features? Um, Kanye? Polo G. Uh, wait, does it have to be in the, in the city? Anywhere. Anywhere. Uh, Polo G has always been a dream feature for me. I'm not sure why. I think it's uh, just the way, not a fact, I lie. I do know why. Uh, it's the way that he tells his story. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the way that he places metaphor. It's like everything. Like uh, his family, even all the way down to his family being his uh, management team, his family just being a part of his music lifestyle. Uh, they all basically just all tie into one. Just like I was just telling you, it's all like a, like a symphony type of thing. Everybody yeah. has an important role, and it ties back into one thing, one product, and that product is has to be perfection. So um, for me, yeah, Apollo G is just like, it, it's a must for me. I got to have a feature with Apollo G. I That's could low-key see that. That's facts. I can yeah. see that. That's hot. That's fire. For me, um, so from the city, from the city, I need Chance. We overdue. <laughs> we overdue Chance. Um, C Get dot Huncho. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. I see that. I see that. Her. Okay. Okay. What okay. we doing, my boy? And in general, I need J Cole. Mm. Listen, what? What my camera? At? What That's my camera? At? This is my camera. Yo. Coco Jones. You hear me, baby? Mm. Listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold I on. Just, Can I get the camera? I too? just need a. Hold um, on. I just need a little melody. Something on the hook. You, Kiki Palmer, whatever, girl. Ooh. Oh, and Missy Elliott. If I could have an honorary, I need yeah, Missy. For sure. Missy, for sure. Missy, Missy, please, please, sure. Missy, come get me. For sure. Come get me, Missy, please. I see that. I see that. Yeah, yeah. got to. I, I love Missy. Missy, Missy Elliott. Like, Missy you and Missy Elliott. That'd be, I love Missy. That'd be something. That'd be something. You can't tell me nothing about Missy. Man. Nothing. Yeah. They can fight right now. Was there uh, something you wanted to say, though, too? Uh, Coco Jam. (laughs) Pick one. Smash a pad. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just just talking. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. See, See, now. See, now. Shout out Donovan Mitchell. (laughs) 
actually met Coco once. For real? Yeah. She, uh, her and Jacquees had a show here in Chicago at That's the dope. Promontory. Okay. And it was like, hi. And she was like, hey. I was like, she is so fucking beautiful. And she was walking out. But me and Jacquees got to kick it, though. I got to kick it with Jacquees. I remember that school. day. I, mean, I remember that day. He was like, you got I your dreads and your day. nose ring like me and shit. I started that. Bro. And anybody who know me know I was the biggest Jacquees fanatic. You know what I'm saying? It's equally... As a support I was a chance, it was yeah. like that for Jacquees, but before he even made it. Yeah, like, yeah. I was listening to him when he was in high school putting shit on YouTube. Oh, yeah, duh, Jacquees. I need my feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I my think, ADHD, I, I think, H- yeah. BK, HDMI. <laughs> Gotta That's do that, too. Gotta yeah, do that, Jacquees. too. Definitely. Come on, twin. Oh, Definitely. my gosh. Okay, and then what would y'all just say, like, y'all have to come, like, within the future? I mean, let alone just, like, the show, but... More, more, more. More music, um, bigger opportunities... More blessings, definitely. Uh, more connections, more features, more uh, just working with everybody. Not everybody. Working yeah. with more people. Uh, yeah, and getting a bigger audience. And actually getting a firm uh, look, like a firm look, a firm sound, a firm just You want to artist. create your imagery. Yeah. Create your image. Yeah, I have it 100% nice. down packed. That's facts, bro. I'm excited. I'm excited to see you, like, your journey. Like, For I real? get it. I get it now. Like, when people were saying it to me, I'm like, oh. Bro. I don't get it. I get it. Like I'm happy for you. you see this shit, like nigga, this is real. I'm happy for you. Oh, yeah. For real, I'm so happy for you. Man, you talking about me? I'm happy for you. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> hey, man, I've been sitting back since, since, but actually before Rhythm and Flow, I uh seen a little bit of your stuff, and I was watch. I've been watching since. So to see what you've been doing, and not even uh just in front of the camera, but behind the scenes. Yeah. To actually be around you with. The stuff that you do behind the scenes is actually like it's 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 so real and it's so um inspirational. So yeah. I appreciate you, brother. That's what it's all about, man. For yeah. real, for real. Um oh, I never really even got into like how you got into acting too. Um or do you consider yourself like an actress actor? I consider myself I consider myself hell yeah I'm an actress. Yeah. You're yeah. Right, right. I'm an actress, yes. Talk uh, your shit, I got man. into it and this is how again how God works. Mm-hmm. The same week I got eliminated from Rhythm and Flow, mm-hmm. I got selected to be a stand-in for season three of The Shy. That's and great. I had no idea what the hell a stand-in was at all. I just signed up. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's see what's going on. I went there. It was the most amazing energy. Shout out to the entire cast and crew of The Shy. And um, from that point on, i just been working with them season per season in a stand-in. For those who don't know, you essentially stand in for certain characters. So while they're getting their hair and makeup done, you will be them. You'll study their sides, learn mm. their scripts so that they can get the lighting and the camera angles right. And so when it's like time a, to film, uh, you swap out. Like so an like an understudy. Yeah, yep, like an understudy. Yep. Then you swap out. Shout out to Janice. Gen- Genesis Denise Hale, because I stand in for sis, too. No, that's definitely I stand in for sis, too. I love you. I love you, G. I love y'all, for real. Yeah. No, it's definitely dope, you know. I'm definitely glad, like, we were just all able to just come here. Y'all just tell y'all own stories, just what's to come, you know. What uh last gems would y'all just give to the people, though? A gem. Keep God first. Mm-hmm. Never give up. Keep God first. Uh, that would be number one, keep God first. Uh that's the number one thing. Like, you can't do none of this stuff w- without him. Um, next thing would be, um, like I said earlier, be creative. I can't wait to see the new generation and how creative y'all going to be. Uh, please be creative. Yeah, like, don't hop on waves. Create your own create waves. Your own yeah. create, create your own waves. Please. We need it. We need it right now, if anything. Um, i say the last one, if I had a third one. I got one. Can you tell me? Okay. Okay. Uh, don't be afraid to take risk. I think I think that is important, and you touched on it earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, risk is going to get you in the door. It's going to take you there. You're going to go through a dark time. Yeah. You're going to go through maybe the worst pain that you've ever dealt with emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally. You're going to mm-hmm. go through it. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid to sit in it and figure it out. Sometimes you got to do it alone, so be it. Do it alone, yep. in the dark. Find the light. Find it. Yep. 
isolation is elevation. Mm, I was going to say. And to piggyback off what you said, don't be afraid to take a risk. I was going to say, don't be afraid to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Always Man. ask a question. Yeah. Close and mouths don't, don't get fit. Don't be afraid to try. Like you said, you're going to learn through trial and error. Mm -hmm. Like, trust me, you're going to learn through trial and error. It's so many things. That's a real bar learning. because it's just like, even like those at the top, they going to fail. But it's just like mm -hmm. how they failed is how you going to learn to succeed, you know? Yeah, yeah, fail faster so you can know what you need to do. If option A don't work, try B, C, all the way to Z. And if Z don't work, True. all the way to A. Because that's how I learned everything, trial and error. I'm still unrepped to this day. I don't have a manager, an agency, or nothing. A lot of people don't know that. Wow. So, yeah, it's all independent over here. No, it's definitely dope. Can and I then, say one more thing before we get oh, yeah. out of here? Uh, the song that you talked about earlier uh, that you saw me shooting on my story is going to drop right after this video. <laughs> actually, it dropped. It just dropped, actually. What time is it? Oh, it that's just dropped. lit. Hey. It just dropped. Y'all go, go tune in to it. What y'all doing? And make sure you go watch uh, season one and two of Rhythm and Flow. Yes. So you can see Bo and you can see me. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to go home and binge watch it. Nah, for sure. I always skip past the battle episode. But I got to ask you <laughs> one question. I know I know the answer already. What's up? You get told you look like Lil Bibby a lot, don't you? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> It's actually funny you ask me that. So I'm like 13, 14. My uh, big cousin, shout out Patrick, he was literally the first person that ever told me, like, boy, yo ass look like Lil Bibby. And I'm just like, I wasn't even tapped in, so like no limit in them. But then like he like played me their music. I'm just like, damn, I look, you do look like that yeah. nigga. And I'm like, it wasn't just saying it just cause, but it's just like, I literally kept hearing it like niggas in high school told me that. Uh, Your voice deep as hell yeah, too. Like, yeah. I want to hear him say, you can't, you can't, you ain't, you ain't. You ain't. I was I'm like, that. hey, I was going to get this baby that. in this mother like, baby, Bro, stop playing. I was going to say that. Y'all is funny as hell. I was going to say that. But uh, even something that I just wanted to like, and I'm going to end it with this too, is just like how we was just talking about how like you got to know how to like play your role. You feel me? It's just like a lot of people I feel like want to be like the guy or like main and center upstage and stuff like that. It's just like. You can do that, but at times, like, you got to know, like, you feel me? Like, everybody not going to be Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Everybody not going to be, shoot, what's another group? I don't know, yeah. shit. You Michael know? Jackson. Michael Jackson, you know? It's just like, we need some Tito's in the world, you know? We need Kelly Rowland. Hey, I'm Kelly Rowland, if you watching hey, this. Hey, hey, hey. Kelly Rowland, if you watching this, is crazy. Hey. No, 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 no. I love you, Kelly Rowland. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Rowland. From the you. bottom of my heart. I love you, Kelly Rowland. From the bottom. Yep. All right. the way from the bottom. Hey. We rolling. From some light skin girls bottom. and some Kelly rolling. Gee. <laughs> Hell no. But uh that no. Me anxiety a little bit. I, 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 <laughs> you got butterflies on an interview. I love Kelly. Bro, hey, if you know, you know. Man, let's get Kelly over here on on on, on the couch with her, man. Let's let's let's, let's do it. Boy, she I'll, blushing. <laughs> I was gonna say, we get Kelly rolling on here. I don't know if I'll ever end that video. Shoot. <laughs> But, y'all, I'm definitely glad, like, we was able to lock this in. You feel me? Y'all just t able to tell just y'all stories, you know, and, like, what's yeah. to come, you know. Definitely y'all tap in a Big Mouth Boat and Casey Kappa. Tune in to Season 1 and 2 of Rhythm and Flow. Yeah. If y'all like this interview, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back with another one.